I'm Ryan London from Doppler, and today I'm going to show you how to inject secrets into your Kubernetes applications using the Doppler CLI method. And I hope you also enjoy the background noise as a result of the construction happening right next door to my house at the moment. Okay, let's get into it. Um, all of the code that I'm going to be using comes straight from our documentation or our Kubernetes examples repository um, linked to from our documentation. And I'm going to presume that you've already imported your secrets into a Doppler project and are ready to go. OK, so the first step is to take your existing Docker file, add the commands to install the Doppler CLI, and then adjust CMD so it's going to be the Doppler CLI that now creates your application process, injecting the secrets as environment variables. Now, in order for the CLI to authenticate, it needs a service token, and we're going to supply this as an environment variable from a Kubernetes secret. So let's get that next step underway. If you head to the project and the config that you want to supply secrets for, click on the Access tab, the Generate button, and then it'll ask you to name the service token. Then what you'll do is you would go to the documentation, you would copy this command here, and paste in the value for your service token, run this command. Okay, now that secret has been created containing the Doppler service token. The final remaining step, presuming that you've now built your image and you've pushed that to your uh, Doppler Docker repository, I should say. Uh, the next step is to expose the Doppler token environment variable to your running container using env from. env from simply just iterates through the list of key values in a Kubernetes secret and, and populates the container with those environment variables. But in our case, it's just the single Doppler token environment variable. OK, now to see this in action, uh, we'll deploy uh, this example deployment. And this comes from the Kubernetes examples uh, repository. OK, so now that that has been created, if we head to the Kubernetes dashboard, we can check out the Doppler CLI, have a look at the container logs. And this container is just a debug container to show that it was successfully able to communicate with Doppler to get our application secrets. Now, what's really cool is that because it's exposed the Doppler token environment variable, we can also create a new uh, shell session to run commands that also use Doppler secrets if we want to. This also highlights um, a really interesting use case, which is if you are developing your applications in development uh, against Kubernetes as well, this technique of using a service token works equally well. You would just go to your project, go to dev, create the service token, and go through the exact same steps to provide your development secrets um, as you're working on your application locally. All right, well, you've seen how easy it is to use the Doppel CLI method to inject secrets for Kubernetes applications. Thanks for watching.